Leopards and Jaguars are legends of the animal kingdom that are very difficult to tell apart. At first glance, it's understandable to mistake a jaguar for a leopard, or vice versa. But there are some telltale signs as to whether a big cat is a leopard or a jaguar. Some of the differences between jaguar and leopard are simply in the physical appearance of the cat, and others are to do with behavior and natural range. Both jaguar and leopard have their territory to dominate. But what if they would meet in the middle and a fight would be inevitable? Then who would win between a jaguar and a leopard? Before we answer this question, let's find out more about the two opponents. Description The jaguar is a large and muscular animal that has a heavier and sturdier body than that of a leopard. They have a large, broad head with jaws so strong that they are said to have the most powerful bite of all the world's cats. Jaguars tend to have a cover of either tan or dark yellow fur, which is dotted with darker, rose-like patterns that are similar to those of a leopard, besides the fact that they have dark spots in the middles. Known as rosetting, the pattern on the jaguar's fur is unique to each animal, much like fingerprints are unique to individual people, and despite its beauty, it actually acts as the perfect camouflage in the surrounding jungle. This camouflage turns out to be so vital to their chances of survival, that those jaguars found in the rainforest are darker in color and often smaller than those found in more open areas. Size and weight vary considerably. Weights are normally in the range of 56 to 96 kilograms, 124 to 211 pounds. Larger males have been recorded to weigh as much as 158 kilograms, 348 pounds. Females are typically 10 to 20% smaller than males and can have low weights of 36 kilograms, 79 pounds. The length from the nose to the base of the tail of the cats varies from 1.12 to 1.85 meters, 3.7 to 6.1 feet. Their legs are short, considerably shorter when compared to a small tiger or lion in a similar weight range, but are thick and powerful. The jaguar stands 63 to 76 centimeters, 25 to 30 inches tall at the shoulders. Although they are the smallest of the big cat species, leopards are still a powerful force to be reckoned with. In particular, their skulls are notably larger, and their jaws are so powerful that they can take prey much larger than themselves. Their shoulder muscles are also particularly strong and give leopards their unique ability to climb trees, often whilst carrying remarkably heavy kills. Their powerful shoulders also help them in the leaping and jumping ability, with a 6 meter horizontal leap and a 3 meter vertical jump. Leopards can swim, although not as well as other big cat species such as tigers. Even they are not known for their speed. Leopards can run very fast, at over 36 miles per hour. Leopards can blend into the environment incredibly well, primarily because of their spotted coat. Despite being instantly recognizable, the spots actually make it easier for leopards to blend in because a disrupted pattern is harder to see than a blank pattern. Leopards grow between 3 to 6.2 feet, 0.9 to 1.9 meters long. The tail adds another 25 to 39 inches, 64 to 99 centimeters to their length. Males and females vary in weight. Males typically weigh around 80 to 165 pounds. 36 to 75 kilograms, while females usually weigh 46 to 132 pounds, 21 to 60 kilograms. Range and Habitat In the wild, jaguars and leopards never meet, as they inhabit totally different continents. The jaguar is an animal that is indigenous to the Western Hemisphere, where it primarily inhabits the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. Although the historic range of the jaguar stretched across the whole continent and even into the southern states of the USA, they are today confined to remote pockets of rainforests, particularly in the moist Amazon basin. Jaguars tend to prefer thick, dense, moist jungles, where there is plenty of cover to successfully hunt and then ambush their prey. They are nearly always found close to the water and prefer either permanent swampland or seasonally flooded forests. The jaguar has been severely affected by habitat loss throughout much of its natural range, along with poachers who shoot them when they get too close to the growing cattle ranches. Leopards are not only the widest ranging of all big cats, 
but are actually one of the most adaptable and are found in a variety of different habitats. Commonly found throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia, there are also small and isolated populations of leopard inhabiting remote geographic locations in the Far East, Northern Africa, and Arabia. The leopard can be found inhabiting numerous different areas, providing that there is a good source of cover and an ample supply of food, including tropical rainforests, treeline savanna, barren deserts, and mountain highlands. One of the reasons why they are thought to be still surviving successfully throughout much of their natural range is that leopards have adapted to the growing presence of people and are known to both live and hunt in areas close to urban activity. However, in some parts of their natural range, populations are threatened by the loss of their natural habitats to both deforestation and growing settlements. Diet and Behavior The majority of a jaguar's hunting is done down on the ground, but they are also known to hunt for prey both in the water and from the trees, from where the jaguar can easily ambush its prey, often killing it with one powerful bite. Medium-sized mammals make up the majority of the jaguar's diet, including deer, capybara, peccaries, and tapirs, which they stalk in silence through the dense jungle. When in the water, jaguars hunt fish, turtles, and even small caiman when their opportunity presents itself. The jaguar is known as a formidable and aggressive hunter, and it is thought to eat more than 80 different animal species to supplement its diet. With growing human settlements, the jaguar has also been blamed by ranch owners for stealing their livestock, particularly in areas that encroach on the jaguar's territory. The jaguar is an excellent swimmer and can move through the water at surprising speed, particularly when in pursuit of prey. As with many other cat species, the jaguar is a solitary animal except for the first couple of years that jaguar cubs spend with their mother. Males are particularly territorial, and although their home range will overlap those of several females, they will defend their patch fiercely from other males. Jaguars mark their territories with urine, by scratching marks onto trees and asserting themselves with growling vocal calls. The leopard is a silent and opportunistic hunter that only hunts and kills other animals to survive. The leopards primarily hunt medium-sized mammals, such as deer and warthogs, which are often ambushed from the branches above or dense vegetation just meters away. The leopard, however, also eats a wide variety of small prey including birds, reptiles, and rodents, even hunting dung beetles when larger animals are scarce. By eating much smaller prey, leopards can avoid intense competition for food from large carnivores like tigers and hyenas, with which they share parts of their natural range. They are also very stealthy creatures that drag their kill into dense vegetation or up into trees for safety from scavengers. The leopard is a solitary and nocturnal animal that hunts both on the ground and in the trees. They are excellent climbers and spend the vast majority of the daytime hours resting in the shade of the branches in the trees or under a sheltered rock. They are quite unique amongst large felines as leopards rely heavily on being able to get close enough to their prey before ambushing it, rather than expelling vast amounts of energy in a high-speed chase. Leopards are highly solitary animals that mark their territories using scent markings and by producing rough, rasping calls that are said to sound like the sawing through of coarse wood. Home range size varies depending on the habitat and the food available, but those of male leopards are significantly larger than those of their female counterparts, which often overlap the ranges of a number of both males and other females. That being said, who would win if the jaguar and the leopard would fight? There's no real way to know. The smart money, of course, would have to be on the jaguar, as an adult jaguar is about twice the size of an average adult leopard. Even if a jaguar has the tools, it doesn't mean it will automatically win. Jaguars are at the top of the food chain in the Americas, they have no natural enemies, and they are capable of killing any animal they see. Leopards, on the other hand, live next to tigers, lions, and spotted hyenas, all of which are more than able to kill and eat them. They also live among herbivores that are far too big for any leopard to kill. So leopards are used to dealing with animals much bigger and stronger than themselves. If size and tools matter, of course, the jaguar wins. But it's wrong to underestimate any leopard. Now I want to hear your opinions too. Who do you think is the winner of this fight? 
Leave a comment in which you argue your choice. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.